<laughs> it's Sunday night. It's Sunday Happy night. Dinner. Happy post Thanksgiving. Post Thanksgiving. Happy That's post -Thanksgiving. it. That's it. That's it. It's Sunday night service with Danny and Dr. Motley. The Doesn't one and only he did. look well? Look at him. Look at this hair, dude. Oh, he just walked in like five minutes ago, and I was like. Holy cow, hey. your hair. Now, that's a little bit of competition with mine. Oh, I don't know no about way. that. If you look um, at your hair. Look is... at mine. I had to take a shower, man. I have, while we're waiting for people to, to log on. I'm Dang, nervous. I have been sick. Why? Have you, okay, so when did so, this happen? And not a virus. This happened. Um, sorry, the dog is right underneath our feet here. Um, Alan loves us. Thanksgiving night, which you came over for Thanksgiving, came which was fun. We had a little video. Um, Thanksgiving night, we went to Target because they had... Iron skillets on sale for ten dollars. Did you get you one? Yes, I got two. One for me, one for Jackson, and awesome. I got a French press yep. for ten dollars. Oh, yeah, so I felt yes. fine. We were at Target, and I came home, and my uh, friend Billy, she was in my bed, and I was laying on the couch, and I would got nauseous. Is anything? I felt wonderful. I was so sick Thursday night. Yeah nauseated like I had to dig out a Zofran that had Dr. Kalb's name on it from five <laughs> years ago because I don't ever take anything and I'm never nauseated it was Aww. I never vomited I didn't have nothing I wish I could have vomited are yeah. you are you I the person that doesn't felt, like doesn't like to vomit if I vomit you better take me straight to the emergency room. Gotcha, gotcha I have not vomited I could not tell you if I ever vomit, I am deathly then ill. Then I know I need to take you to the yeah, yeah. So you were saying you were so nauseous. Yeah. So what happened? Like well, you know. nothing. I mean, I didn't sleep hardly at all. I, I took that Zofran, dug it out. It was so old. It like disintegrated <laughs> immediately in my mouth. I haven't felt good. I haven't felt oh. well at all. I took a hot yoga class today, and that was quite difficult. But I don't feel great. So I'm glad that this is your baby tonight because viruses um, are a big deal. That's one of your babies. Yes, right one of our, both of our babies. I'm yes. just, I just hate that you don't feel so great. No, I don't. So. I don't feel super. But anyway, here we go. I haven't had any wine, not one drop. And it is Sunday night church yeah. service, service. So here. So cheers. You know, so this is my first sip of wine since. Since Thursday well, night. Use the alcohol to clean Ooh, the wound. That's clear worry. out everything that's going on. But. I made bone broth with my turkey. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And so I only got like two and a half pints out of it. I don't know why so little what happened. But anyway, it's the... pretty powerful stuff. I think it's concentrated. Yep, yep. And let's see here. I bought a TV Thanksgiving. I bought a TV. I haven't had a TV yep. for four years in yep. this house. There's no TV in this house. And we're moved tonight because I had to put my Christmas tree up and I flocked my own <laughs> Christmas tree. <laughs> Watch your mouth. There are maybe children watching I right now. I my tree in the backyard, by the way. <laughs> it took 45 minutes longer than A couple flocking. letters, Danny. Oh, and you're, and you're on the break. It's only two letters two off. Letters. But anyway, I flocked my own tree. If you have never flocked your own Christmas tree, it's you quite the experience. And I'll show you all later. But it really looks good. <laughs> That's a video we're going to do. Flock. It Doesn't looks it? fantastic, actually. Yeah, it's yeah. really great. Yeah. So anyway, I've got to decorate it. So we're moved around tonight. But um, it's so good. Really Speaking is. of Christmas, the holiday Hashimoto's Christmas potluck is December the 8th. Okay. So if you all come to or you should come to it. It's on December, December the 8th. 8th. Yeah. Yeah. It's a Friday night. It's a yeah. potluck where we bring all of our own gluten-free dishes. Mm -hmm. And then it's a huge end of the year party. It's going to be a And Janetta Hitt brings her world famous gluten-free banana pudding. She mm -hmm. is the chairman of the International Banana Pudding Festival, I think, or is something that here? like that. Yeah, it's like wow. down in. Uh, My voice actually got high of saying that. Is it yeah. here? She brings. She's bringing banana pudding. So December the eighth, six thirty at Nashville Restorative Dentistry is the Hashimoto's uh, potluck, Hashimoto's holiday party, and then that's also the same day, December the eighth, that we have our last lunch and learn of the year with Liberty Bain, mm. amazing woman to end this out with. She's a life coach, a healer. She's amazing. She's teaching on self-care with art therapy oh i've heard of art therapy oh yeah and she has a, res a little retreat down at her house where she does art therapy she's amazing mm. liberty bain is phenomenal so both of those are under events and you need to rsvp if you're going to be at that mm. we also one thing before we get into this we have the we have brand new CBD oil see, from the same company, Earth's mm -hmm. Glory in Kentucky. Kentucky, right? Yes. Yep. Okay. But they have now uh, eliminated the 250 milligrams for retail sale for us, and it is all the vendors will be having 500 milligrams. 
double the duty, not double the cost. But I have texted Allie to find out how much it is, and she must not be paying attention to me tonight. Allie. I'm not sure. It's not double the cost. So I'm not quite sure. I think it's 80 something, mm -hmm. honestly. That's a good price. I think so, but I don't hold me to that. 500 milligrams. It is good. It is really good. good. So, yeah. Yeah, good really. It, it's good. So, we have that in the office now. But that's all the big news I had. Did you have a great? Had a great Thanksgiving. Um, we went to, uh, like we uh, on the last video, went to my mother's house. I went yep. to my sister's house for an early one. Then went to mom's. We had everybody, like some aunts come over and things of that sort. Spent time with my brother and my sister. Came to see you. Came, we came to see in me. We How ate. fun was oh, that? Oh, it was so great. We had a lot of gluten-free uh, stuff here. And I mean, to eat gluten-free and feel guilt-free while you eat uh, Thanksgiving holidays. Uh, yeah, but I got to tweak it next awesome. year. I don't know. Yeah, I, it, was it was Well, it was fine. It wasn't great, though, and I like great food. But I like great food. We had a great time. Well, we, we laughed, and time. we, you know, then you said you had to go flock your tree. And and I just, just y'all got to go. I got to go flock my tree. <laughs> That's what happened. It was great. My friend Trish told me all about this flocking stuff you can order on Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> and, yes. and I ordered it, know. and apparently it's what professional <laughs> flockers use. So I did it in the backyard, and it was great. You well, should see me. I had flocking flock. all over me. I sparkled <laughs> from head to toe yesterday. But anyway, it was great. So we're going to talk about viruses. Viruses. Right? This was his idea because he's a brainiac. And so oh, and it's perfect time of year. Ooh. And there's lots of people on here watching this tonight, actually, hey, by the way. Hey, guys, I can't see. i got to get new glasses. So. So, but he's going to talk about something that I found in oh. one of my books that I have. It's a huge, gigantic book. What's the name of it's it? It's called Natural Medicine. Yeah, the textbook, the textbook of Natural book Medicine. Of natural it's medicine. like thousands of pages. And you, get, you gave a great point. It says, yep. in the naturopathic model, the virus is not understood so much to be separate, a separate disease entity, but a general and fundamental process of disturbance and recovery within the living body. It is a method whereby the body restores itself, remember, restores itself after a sufficient amount of disturbance accumulates within the system. This is why the cold has no cure. The cold has no cure. It has cure. no cure. It is the cure for what ails the body, actually. So the cold is the cure. It it's is the cure. not the sickness. It's isn't not, that something? It isn't crazy. The cold is the cure in our, in our world. It is. And it says, in the naturopathic model of health, it is the support of this adaptive response. So it's an adaptation. So the cold is actually an adaptation to what's going on in the body. It's actually trying to heal you. So it's trying to like get rid of the problem. And the re restoration of balance, that is the central point through which the process is the cure. So when we're talking about, and when Danny just talked about when you get a cold or get its symptoms, like you get a fever or get the cough or you get the sneeze or the congestion, that is the body's response basically trying to adapt to the deeper problem. So it's actually trying, you are trying to actually cure the problem with these symptoms or your body's telling you a problem is there. So when you get a high fever or you get these cough, many of the Western medicine products we will take will try to suppress those things and you shouldn't try to suppress those things. Understandably, we don't want you to like get dehydrated. We don't want you to like have a fever so high that you have some brain issues or um, have brain damage. But I'm saying <laughs> I that think that's you, what happened to me. I'm not my this weekend, so come high. on. <laughs> but that's that, like Marnie Reason, uh, Reason was telling us the other day. She's on. Is she right on? Now. Hi, Marnie. Marnie. Like that's how homeopathic works. Mm. It's almost to the point where you are trying to find out what your body forgets. If your body forgets what's ailing it, let's let's say there is a virus that's deep in the body. Right. Okay. There's a virus deep in the body. You can't recognize where it's at or what's going on. You're just trying to use the homeopathic in one fashion to remind the brain, remind the nervous system where the virus is at, what it's doing, so that your own immune system could go attack it. So right. that's how the body sort of responds to that issue with homeopathics. Now, if I said anything wrong, Marnie, you just yeah, Marnie, know, chime in and chime in and tell me. Um, but we want to talk about virus and bacteria this week because yeah. you weren't feeling, but this is from probably what something maybe you ate. I think something know. I ate because I, I mean, don't I don't think, I mean, I feel, I just don't feel good here. It's, so mine's not like a snotty, you know, symptoms of what you think a cold would be like a rhinovirus kind of thing, like cold, um, snot, mucus, fatigue, joint pain, mm -hmm. um, Headaches. Headaches, watery right? eyes, itchy ears sometimes. Itchy, yep, yep. Fog all of, all of those symptoms. You know, I don't have that. Mine was gut stuff. But, you know, why do some people get sick and some people don't? Why, that is you know, a great Your point. immune system, why is that? Why are some people's immune systems weaker 
than others. I think that the main point, like we've pushed along along the way, is there's a few things in the in the cell. So the main thing that they talk about is amount of vitamin C in the cell and amount of vitamin D. Now these are two main points I'll just push on. There's probably a ton of other different types of deficiencies we could talk about tonight. But in the cell, right beside your mitochondria, the power plant cells, there are vitamin D receptors. And the vitamin D receptors are mainly to fight different things. And these are the main things. Osteoporosis, yep. autoimmune issues, immune issues themselves like viruses, bacteria, fungus, yeast, and such, and cancers. So if you don't have a properly working vitamin D receptor in your cells, you'll have a high chance of getting this compared to you could have a better vitamin D receptor than I could, which is basically di dictated by your genetics. So Danny could have a better vitamin D receptor than me because she was passed on from her parents to have a better vitamin D receptor than my parents gave me. So that's one of the main issues. And there's chronic deficiencies, I would say, in vitamin C in our country, too. Oh, yeah. Totally. We give people vitamin C all the time. All and the time. I use plain, cheap, buffered C. Oh, what I and use. allergy Just research group. That's, research I love group. this brand. It's so good. It's like 16 bucks for 120 capsules, and there's 500 milligrams per capsule. Oh, man. So, you t yeah. Yeah, I take this several times during the day. This is my favorite. It doesn't cause diarrhea, gut that's issues. exactly right. And that's and the base thing to tell you that if your vi vitamin C works for you, some people would come to you and tell me and they say, well, when I take vitamin C, um, I get diarrhea. I said, but that's going to not be the best vitamin C for you. You that's need to right. find the, the, the product that works for you. If you can take a high amount of vitamin C and not get diarrhea, it's a good one for you. That's exactly right. That's how you get. And vitamin C is not it, the reason it helps so much in our immune system is that it basically helps with um, the electron transport system transport system, which means it does a double whammy. It helps the cellular respiration or your cells to actually be healthy and absorb more nutrients and also helps heal like the lung tissue as well. So it has uh, two main factors. So I read a report. Okay. So it's talk about Linus Pauling. He's like, oh, he's Linus. At Linus Pauling. So if you guys ever want to talk about vitamin C, go here, Linus Pauling. And he's, oh, yeah. a, he's one of the docs that basically pushes vitamin C. I mean, giving people like 50 to 80 thousand oh. milligrams a day oh, yeah. of vitamin C and them not getting diarrhea. Isn't that amazing? So he'd give certain people and they did studies with him and they said on the average, like let's say we took a thousand milligrams, right? A thousand milligrams for six hours, every six or thousand milligrams every six hours, and then probably three times a day after that for two weeks, they say your chances of getting the cold and the research show that people's colds and bronchitis reduced by like 85%. Mm -hmm. So I mean we talked about the other day about how when I will tell people, this is what um, I suggest to my patients, when they just call me or call the office and they say, what do I need to do? I'm starting to get congestion, starting to get itchy ears, watery eyes. I say, take 1,500 to 2,000 milligrams of vitamin C three to six times you a day bet. until your sinuses clear up, until you they bet. dry up. Yeah. Drink a ton of water. Yeah, Dr. Imps told me, who's my supervising physician, he said, take 1,000 milligrams every hour. I said, I would be, I couldn't see patients if I was taking 1,000 <laughs> milligrams an hour. I'd be doing it from the bathroom door. Um, outside. Yeah, but yes, yes, but high dose vitamin C. High dose agreed, agreed, agreed. Vitamin C. And then when we talk about vitamin D, so we high dose vitamin D because that gets your immune up. Remember that vitamin D is also activated by, Danny gives us a lot. And I do too. Vitamin A, and vitamin K, and vitamin E. Those are some of the main components. And they showed that vitamin E with vitamin C and D will greatly reduce your chances of getting the cold or reduce the symptoms by like 60% in people who take high amounts. Mm -hmm. And I say, when you're asking me what kind of vitamin D or how much I should take, I would say sometimes I've had people take up to five to 10,000 international units of vitamin D a day until some of their symptoms go down. Some people think that's a little extreme. No, I do that. I, I take, I have personally taken 20,000 for about four days, yep. four or five days, four or five days. Um, when I first would start getting sick. I don't dare do that, you know, well, on all the, regular, the time, but yeah, 5,000 usually is good. But when I start to get sick, sometimes that's what I'll do. 20,000, a few times, a, uh, uh, four or five days, and then, yeah. Isn't it amazing, though, when you give your patient, you, they call and tell you, and you say, this is what you need to do, and this is what you need to take. And they do it for like two days, and they're like, yeah, my symptoms have gone way down. Uh, yeah. Like, especially with children. Yeah. Children come in the office, or they don't even come in the office. The parent calls us and asks, what do we need to do for our kids? And they'll say, I'll tell them, give them liquid vitamin C. Yeah. Give them so much five to six times a day and by that night or by the next morning they're like yeah they're proper they're working i'm going to tell you something if you will stay on vitamin c all year long yep. your chances of getting colds are 
uh, yeah, I had like one cold maybe last year, one. And I know it was because I took, that was the first year, year that I really took a ton of vitamin C. Oh, it, it is amazing. And it's easy. It's easy. It's water soluble. Diarrhea is the only big side effect. And if that's the case, find a vitamin C that you don't get diarrhea off of. I mean, really, honestly, mm -hmm. uh, one of my buddies who um, we talk regularly, he's getting his master's in nutrition. He's a brilliant guy. And he was telling me that he, every time I saw him, he would come in and every year he'd almost have three colds, four colds, like turning into bronchitis where he was in bed for like four days, oh every gosh. single time. And he got into nutrition. And I remember he was telling me he would take 20,000 milligrams a day, maybe 25. And I thought, you know, I'm, I'm the smart guy. I'm like, no, you should not do that. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> and all of a sudden he just starts killing it. He's so much better. He gets no more allergy symptoms, even in the springtime. So when we're talking about colds, we're also talking about the effect it has on your histamine reaction. Vitamin mm -hmm. C is so you good bet. on your allergy you reaction. You bet it is. And it's yes. crazy like rutin, acerola cherries. Those things will actually reduce the amount of uh, um, sinus congestion and the sneezing effect of the cold as well as helping you in the allergy season. So, I mean, vitamin D, vitamin C. And um, I wanted to see some of your products too, oh, because I like do. in, in well, silver too. Well, I'm a too. big believer in silver. Oh, and you, you oh, oh, are just in 23. So now good. we use this at, the, at Cool Springs Family Medicine, so yep. I just carry it over at our office. I don't have any in stock right now. This is my favorite. I love this one. It works beautifully. And I mean, you just, I just swallow it down. That's how I, I do too. it. Yeah, there's it no is. taste to it at all. And you can do, well, Oh gosh, I don't have my glasses on, but you know, easily absorb, blah, blah, blah. I mean, you can do one teaspoon, hold on the tongue for 30 seconds, then swallow once a day, three times a day, five times a day, seven times a day. If you're sick, short term immune support, seven times a day seven times when a day. you're sick. That's what it says. Long term immune support, five times a day. And Put you're not going to turn blue when you take no, it. No, not this one. It's you hydrosol. You're but, not gonna, yeah, go ahead. That's right. No, you will not. But there are some that you will. And I know my buddy, John Epperson, he takes a different one here and, and loves it. You use one as well. I, do. I don't know which one you use. I use, it's a good company. Oh, Designs for Health. Designs for oh, Health. they do a great job. Silver Cylind Liquid, yeah. it's a really great one, mm -hmm. Argentin. Yeah. And you can, like you said, you can take like a teaspoon or so, like I tell patients Yeah, this to is take. great stuff. And I, I do the same thing, it. I drink it too. Mm -hmm. I do like, you can do four to five teaspoons a day until your symptoms reduce. And the crazy thing, people would say like hydrosol. <laughs> you can gargle, you gargle it with, if you have a sore throat, it's fabulous. And it is great, when you get a sty, <laughs> when you get a sty or cloudy eyes or gunk in the eyes, I've I, cloudy eyes I will take this and put it in a dropper and drop it in my eyes. Now it'll sting a little bit because it disrupts bacterial uh, metabolism. That's why it stings, it'll kill it. So people get, and they, I have people put it in their ears, I have people spray it in their nose and put it in their eyes. I've never put it in my eyes. Oh, but, um, it's worked like a charm. Especially really? when you wake up in the morning, you have cloudy eyes like that gunk over yeah. it. Yeah. Clean it off, drop two or three drops in there. And if it stings, it's not doing anything bad. When you have that, cl that cloudiness, that's how silver works. Silver basically disrupts the um, aerobic yeah. respiration within the, the bacteria. So when you get the stinging, it's just basically tearing them up, tearing them open. Wow, I didn't know that. Oh, you can spray stuff. You can use silver for everything. Yes, yeah, probably good. a good hair product. I, no. Might calm it down. I, don't know. <laughs> I use Laura Seaton. I love this stuff. Do you ever use Laura Seaton Monolaurin? I, I do use Monolaurin, but I don't use that brand. Okay, well, this brand I love. I think it's fantastic, right? Which was and was dis discovered by this guy, whatever his name is, is the original Monolaurin discovered by MedChem Labs founder Dr. John. Cab Cabrera, uh -huh. PhD, right? In 1966, the year I was born, it's a highly purified lipid extract derived from coconut oil. Ooh. Helps with, promotes a strong Im immune defense, mm -hmm. which I love. Supports a healthy balance of gut bacteria. I use this with my patients with yeast, with a lot of yeast problems. I have them taking this. Mm -hmm. Maintains a healthy level of yeast as well in there, but it also helps heal a leaky gut. But it is phenomenal for your immune system. It and it, you can... Start it now. Not, Just a few pellets, ooh, really? several times a day. Yeah, it's um, it's in fact I can open this one. So it's um, it, Let's look it's at that one. teeny tiny little pellets, and you don't want many because you will um, you'll have a Herxheimer reaction. So they oh, are teeny tiny little baby that. little baby pellets. Don't chew them; they taste like soap. So you just put them in your mouth like two or three at a time, at several times a day. And then you swallow them. I don't know if you're supposed to use wine, but that's all I have. Oh. Straight no chaser. I'm just mm -hmm. kidding. More lark than a chaser. 
And then, oh my goodness. And it's amazing. We use this. I use this with my protocol for Epstein Barr. That is so great. Right? Exactly. Monolaurin. With vitamin C, uh, monolaurin, spirulina, and lysine. But this tub will last you forever. That's and it's like $36, years. right? But I have patients, Allie's on it. She uses it every day at the office. It is fantastic for your immune system. Oh, man. This is something really easy to get started mm -hmm. with your immune system. Vitamin C, colloidal silver, that, that one's a little bit more pricey, but vitamin C in this right here, I love. I it's, love it's this It's like stuff. a great triple threat. I mean, really, honestly, oh, when you it bet comes it to is. killing stuff, is so, yeah, you know, Laura C, so monolaurin was originally found in breast milk. Did you know that? I did not in know that. In the breast milk of nursing nursing babies. Mm -hmm. It sure was. And it talks about that somewhere on here. I don't know, but it's quite fascinating and it works beautifully for your immune system. So anything you can do that's inexpensive to hold off a virus, right? Completely. And monolaurin, like the, the crazy cool thing about the acid, I just said crazy cool. Sorry about that. The cool thing about that acid is that viruses are just basically genetic material and they're just covered by protein coats, a small thin protein coat. And when you take that acid, that acid eats away the protein coat, opens it up, it spills its insides out, and then your immune system comes and kills it. And it helps to do the same thing with yeast. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that crazy? Like we oh, use a yeast. thing called, we could do a whole series. Oh, yeast. we should do that. Um, with um, viral, we do a thing called total virix and it has um, monolarn in it and it has oh. that vitamin C and it's got a bit of zinc and it's got selenium. So, I would even add zinc in there. Oh, zinc you is bet. The zinc so is a... We could have a five combo. So I could say we could have uh, silver, zinc, vitamin C, monolaurin, and I would want to say, I, I want to put in a couple other herbs and vitamins, but I want to do that. I love camu. Camu is one of my favorites. Do you have camu in here? I do actually have camu. Okay. But Show camu is a berry, and camu is one of the highest concentrates of vitamin C that you can find, find in antioxidants in nature. So this is camu supreme from... Uh, Supreme Nutrition products. I don't push their products. I'm saying I like them, but camu berries are really good. It's a natural form of vitamin C and antioxidants during this cold time. I don't use camu berries. So would you use that as a preventative? Or you I do. Use that and as people take camu and you can get it online or you can come to the office and grab some too or get, you can, actually people put it in their smoothies. So I tell patients to take a scoop and put it in their smoothies every morning to get that amount of natural antioxidants and vitamin C in the body. So um, if you're Taking that with some monolaurin and doing high amounts of vitamin D and vitamin C and some silver, there's not much breeding ground for these viruses. That's right. And, and you know, and I think these, that's a too. great combo right there to take right before you get on an airplane. Oh, right. right. I just thought story? of that. No, okay. no, because Tommy says, what will, what will the types of silver do to your probiotics gut bacteria? Well, well it do, that's a question for you because I don't know. It, it, usually when you're saying can a silver disrupt the cellular metabolism of a good bacteria, they're saying that there is certain types of polarity that occurs. And I don't want to get too geeky, but, yeah. that, but too nerdy. But I'm saying there are certain components within bad bacteria because they'll call them gram negative and gram positive. And they say that bad bacteria usually have a different polarity or charge than good bacteria. And your body knows that. So when you take silver – it actually is attracted to the bad charge or the bad electrical charge of that bad bacteria. And it actually just attracts them like a magnet and goes after them where it usually leaves your bacteria, your own body's um, bacteria, your good bacteria alone. Wow. And it is. Remember it's in a symbiotic relationship. If you have a good army inside your body, your body sees it at itself. Remember because we're 90% bacteria. We're only 10% basically us. So whenever you start to see ourselves as mostly bacteria, like we're going to say, we're not going to attack ourselves. We're going to attack anything that's foreign or overgrown. So that's how it, it occurs. I uh, remember bacteria have a cell wall and human cells do not. Um, ah. And so bacteria have a cell wall. So when we take like when a person gets an antibiotic, an antibiotic goes in and like a, a balloon that's filled with water and you puncture it and all the water flows out. That's what an antibiotic does to a bacterial cell wall. So, in essence, that's what silver does. Silver goes in and punctures it and opens it up and it just spills all the junk outside. But remember, it protects your cells because your cells identify your good bacteria as you. Oh, okay. Not as something for them. That's one of the theories behind it. Jenny says, so uh, what about, what is this? I Colostrum. No, no, no. Oh, sorry. What's that say? I, maybe she meant arnica. No, I don't know what that says. A-M-L-A. -A. Okay. Man, Jen, I don't know AMLA. Like I don't that. either. A-M-L-A. Jenny, uh, what, is, what about AMLA? How does it compare to Camu? So good bacteria is not killed by colloidal silver, she says. 
No. No. No, no it's I, not. I've not seen that in any research or even in my experience on love. Let me see. Okay, so what are your thoughts on colostrum? Somebody colostrum asked. is good. Uh, colostrum and with even kefir. They found that um, I actually had a friend and one of my buddies who talks about a keeper society. There's a society with keepers. There's a society. <laughs> and colostrum. It has colostrum and uh, keeper have some of the highest amounts of probiotics within uh, nature, basically in the trillions. And so you can't find that anywhere. You can't find a combo within a pill or a, um, a capsule that allow you to have that high of amount of bacteria. There are a mm. few things. And, and, and cut me off if I get too wordy. There's a there's um, a Viome V I O M E is a company now that will measure the amount of um, bacteria in your gut and the ratios, mm -hmm. and they'll tell you in the ratios of your gut how much like lactobacillus compared to um, uh, uh, just a regular bacillus or a, a bifidobacterium. They'll tell you the different levels, and then they will measure that and they'll give you the report back, and that way you can actually dictate what food you eat compared based on what kind of bacteria you have in the gut. Well, you know my Nutra, I mean the Genova stool do they study do that? does it. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know yeah. that. Yeah. Oh gosh, yes. The um the three day stool study that we do has it, it measures your lactobacillus, your bifidobacteria, all uh, multiple different strands of it, all of that in there. And it Isn't tells right? us I didn't know hey, that. Oh you need more we need to change your probiotic up because you don't have near enough lactobacillus, you don't have near enough bifido Lactus. I mean, it it goes down the list. Yeah, Genova stool study. I've got study. to look into that. Yeah, that's a good stool that. study. They do a one day and a three day, and I'll make all my patients do a three day. <laughs> they hate me. Like, <laughs> they have to poop and scoop poop and, and scoop. send it off, and I tell them put it in the neighbor's mailbox because when you got to send it, because it says human stool sample or something, and I don't no. know. I'm just, can you imagine working in that factory I or in imagine. that lab? No, but okay. So viruses, back to, viruses. back to viruses, what causes them? Why do some people get them and some people don't get get sick? What do we do to treat them, which we've talked about multiple things. What else do you have down there? Oh, okay. So treat? one of the main well, things. Well, prevention like, and treatment. I prevention think prevention treatment. is off. This is this is one of my all-time favorite products right here. We like all, ACF. All-time all, all favorite. There is no better, in my opinion. There is no better. And, ACF. and it's made here in Tennessee. It is made in Tennessee. It's a now, Tennessee product. And uh, now, and I, I totally praise them. I hope they ever watch. Like, I love their products. It's a, a group of, that doesn't use alcohol. They use glycerin in, in, in this. And so um, I think they're a Seventh-day Adventist uh, company. What? Yes. Really? Yep. I had and the no companies idea. that have biochemists up there. In the mountains. Where are they? They are up in the mountains, and they do not allow anybody to um, uh, come in and uh, look at their laboratory while they do their formulations. And so they're in Pikeville, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. It's up in the mountains. I think it's past near Cleveland, I believe. Really? Actually, yes. Um, Nobody can go in there. Well, they won't let people look in. Well, it's got myrrh, mm -hmm. which that's good enough for Jesus. It's good enough for me, right? Time, ginger root, white willow bark, purified silver, yep. right? Golden seal, elderberry, one of my favorites. Elderberry, so I love the, the daily immune support from Gaia that's loaded with elderberry and echinacea. This has a lot of zinc in it. I can't pronounce that. I have no idea what that is. It's near lichen. Okay, there you go. Lichen. Zinc, roots, and sit. What's that? Bioflavonoids. Bioflavonoids. Vitamin okay. C yeah, with bioflavonoids. C. This stuff is phenomenal. If you've never used this, they do an acute care. Is this the acute care? This is the, this is the rapid, rapid immune recovery. Okay, and they do an acute care, rapid immune recovery. They do a maintenance. They do several. They do several, and they also have a kid's formula that's really good. Yeah. I actually use this on the kids because, remember, everything we've talked about. You we talked kids? about. I mean, on the kids at the office. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that little Motley's running around. Ah, can, you can you imagine a little Motley? Okay, well, this, that's, a, that's a totally different thing. But, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, all right, but ACF. That's what I, 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 I'm an only child, and I tell my dad, I'm like, I'm an only child. And he say, yeah, yeah, in this country. You yeah. are. You, know, you were stationed in the Philippines. So Not that I know be, of. No, you're Korean. I was going to say, you could be my brother, but no, you're we Korean. Could, never mind. He's oh, never my Korean. word. We could, you know. In the Philippines. <laughs> That's yes, terrible. Sorry, sorry these days I'm going to wake up. I'll have curly red hair. I'm like, we were related. That's we're exactly siblings. right. My we, old nurse Nikki, she's Filipino. I always told her, "You're my nurse. You're my you're my sister. I know you're my sister." We're all we're like uh, we're related or somehow, I guess. And um, okay, so back to this. ACF is is phenomenal. ACF is phenomenal. Yeah, that's so a good one. I, that's you need that. The problem. So once you open it, though, you have to 
you use have it, to use it you know, because it'll so, go bad within like yes, several will. weeks. So that's mm-hmm. the only problem because it has no alcohol That's a in good it. one, though, to keep in your in your arsenal. The Urban Market sells this. Mm-hmm. Whole Foods sells this. I prefer you go to Urban Market and buy it, though, because yep. they're a local store. Oh, but, I love um, that. Yeah, we don't, we don't so sell cool sell this at the office but it's fantastic it's fantastic and it has everything we've sort of said in a combo so yeah elderberry has zinc has vitamin c it's got rootin and um but with viruses like how do we get them it's just like by contact through the air um get them on planes yeah and uh by that's what this was saying in here your sore throat oftentimes is your first symptom that something's happening maybe you don't feel right you get a sore throat and that's oftentimes your first Port of entry for darn sure mine because my mouth is open that, all the time talking. <laughs> but, oh, that's, <laughs> right, I love but it. that's your first first sign, right? And that's your first port, portal of entry. And there. that's true because most they, of the time, most of the time they say like the first thing that we had, the first toxin we ever encounter is air because we can always stop eating, stop drinking, but we never can stop breathing. It's the first yeah, right, thing. Yep. right, and yeah. and you know why do people get sick? Well. We're exhausted. We're run down. Yeah. We're worn out. We're not taking care of ourselves. And I tell people this every day. We are not, we get sick oftentimes more in the fall and winter, mm-hmm. right? Than we do in the spring and summer. This is the season that we are supposed to slow down. Mm-hmm. We are supposed to hunker down like the animals. They slow down. They start to hibernate. They bear, uh, hiber- uh, get store up their nuts and they they get every whatever you know we're supposed to <laughs> slow down eat seasonally yes. eat um stews and root vegetables and broths bone broths and turkey broths and all these things and slow down and what are we doing 90 to nothing all balls the to the wall 100 miles an hour never stopping exhausted complaining because we're so tired we're so busy we're so busy we're so this we're so that well we chose to do that we chose it right yeah. I, I mean i'm really hardcore with patients i'm like uh what can you cut out cut, like during something, this time, out. cut something out cut something out you don't have to be everything to everyone it, it at don't. all you wonder why you're exhausted you wonder why you're sick your immune system is shot well, therefore, you're going to catch the, every cold that comes around. You're going to get every sniffle, every snot, every pneumonia, whatever, bronchitis, right? You will. And then you can't fight it off. You then your little sniffle, which you should be able to fight off within a few days, turns into bronchitis or then pneumonia. Or then you halfway get better. And guess what? You go back to doing exactly what you were doing and you get sick again, exactly even right. worse the yep. second time. Because we don't slow down to get well. Exactly. Number one, we should slow down just to stay well. But if you don't do that and you get sick, you need to slow down to get well. But a man, oftentimes a man will go to bed. Well, not in here because there's no man in my bed. But they will go <laughs> to bed and stay home from work. And a woman does what? Goes to work. Goes to work. Does Keeps it right on going. You know, Sorry, I got on my soapbox no, there. No, I think it's the our best. Our immune great. system, this is all, you wouldn't need any of this if we took better care of ourselves. Yep. If and you it would, comes down to self-care. Yep. If you, like, even, like, eating right, like you just said, it's, like, I have an uncle who's a farmer in Korea, and he uh, would, he basically, he would tell us this. He would sit us down and he'd say, you city boys have it all wrong. My uncle, yeah, Hegnam, he says, you have city boys have it all wrong. He goes, I work about six to eight months out of the year. He oh. says, but he goes, I take four months off because the snow's so thick I can't go out and farm. He says, but what does he do? He says, I sleep and I eat. Sleep and eat. That's what you're supposed and to do. And he does do. it. And he hardly ever gets sick. And he's always doing well. And he's like up in his 80s right now and 85, I think now. Mm-hmm. And he doesn't get sick. And he's just as fit as ever. He goes out and tends the, the pepper fields and such. But, any, but it's true. But he takes four months off. He takes four I'm months off. I'm taking a month off next year. I have the month of June. June, two weeks in June, two weeks in July, four weeks. Yep. Because Michael Hyatt, who's a buddy of mine, who is a Michael. who is a, a phenomenal guy. motivative motivator, motiv- motivator, motivational. But he's a motivational speaker. He's a New York Times Brilliant. bestselling author. He's he may be on here tonight. He can, he talked to me years ago. You got to take some time, Danny. You're going to kill yourself. You're going to kill yourself. So I had three weeks off last year, and I'm taking four weeks this year, this summer to study, 
to learn, not just all to lay down, but to study and to learn and to rejuvenate and to be able to do what I do better. And you'll be, but also to go to see the world. Totally. Traveling. And you'll be better for your patients. You'll be better yes. for yourself. You'll be better yes. for everybody else when you do that. And when you take care of yourself, it is amazing that stress, uh, when we're talking And about, I don't get paid when I'm gone. When I'm not there, there's, there's no patients. So no there paid. you have it. We're selling supplements, but I don't get paid. That's a huge deal. I don't have paid vacation, yeah, but, it right? all, but it's worth it to me. I have learned there's no amount of money. As long as I, I live very simply, yeah. right? I live in a teeny tiny little house in the, in a little area over here. That's not the safe. <laughs> well, it's pretty safe, but you know, um, and I don't have any bills. Right. And I, I just got a TV. So now I'm going to have a TV. Right. So, I mean, so I don't live above my means. And so I'm not, you know, it's okay. I'm yeah. going to take a month off and yeah, it's going to be tight, but there you have it. You have to do it to take care of yourself. And I, I mean, it, to me, it's like uh, stress related when we talk about stress and how it can deplete the body of vitamin you C bet. and how it can deplete the vitamin bet. D. Stress will deplete those vitamins and basically shut off your vitamin D receptor. And I, I just saw, um, Marty says, yeah, yeah. A siliconum, uh, like yeah. homeopathic, that's a great one yes, too. Yes, yes, yes. By um, Borion. Bor it. It, it, it yeah, is a great homeopathic, that's true. Well, if you guys, she'll bring it back. It's a homeopathic yeah. and you can use, and you can just right when you start to get it, pop the homeopathics in, and uh, usually most of your symptoms go away if you stay consistent at it and keep doing it. Um, that's oh, one yeah. of my favorites. Um, and again, back to clost uh, colostrum and probiotics. I think kefir and colostrum will help balance gut um, flora, and those will actually kill off bad bacteria as well. I can never pronounce it. How do you say it? Oscillococcum, I think. She's going to kill us for saying it yeah, wrong. Yeah, yeah, Marnie, it's all wrong. This stuff is phenomenal. I keep it here. I've got it in there in case we start to get sick. Yeah. And this, Amka. Amka. Do you ever use this, cold and flu? I have used oh, it. Oh, my great. goodness. This stuff so is good. phenomenal. Whole Foods has it. I don't know if Urban Market has it. We usually get it in in the fall. I need to order it. It is fantastic as well, Marnie. I don't know if you've used this one, but a former patient taught me about this. This is These are two great things to have on as soon as you start to feel as soon as like you you're start. Run, getting run down. Yes, the, these are not preventative. These are as soon as you start to feel it, right? Yeah. Sorry to get the symptoms. Remember Laurel because silver, the, Laura seed and vitamin C, those things are preventative. And all the things you're starting to feel, remember all the symptoms you're starting to feel is just your body's trying to give you an indication that something's going on deeper and your body's wanting to heal. So you take these things to give it the sport to heal itself. And there was another one about MTHFR about, um, Am I jumping the gun too much right here? Is no, like, Marty's like, talking. Go ahead. Oh, keep, and they talked talking. about MTHFR. I got, just got from Jan. It's talked about, can we give silver to people that have MTHFR? I do. I do. I think that what I do see the, uh, the concern because MTHFR, if there is a high amount of homocysteine upregulation, that's getting a little too wordy for this. But I would say that if you have MTHFR, it is your body's ability to utilize vitamin B. And that vitamin B turns into Sam E, and Sam E helps turn on the vitamin D receptor. If you take too much vitamin D, you can't push too much toxin down the pathway to make your liver work too hard, and you can feel worse. And I understand that. But a lot of times, what I find is even people with MTHFR, like their body is so concentrated on the virus because mm. we see this all the time. When we work with thyroid, you work mm. with thyroid, and yes. people are getting rid of their chronic issue, and all of a sudden they get a cold. And your body, their body almost stops paying attention to the thyroid and goes, I've got a cold. And it sets us back a little bit mm -hmm. because we have to do it. But sometimes giving silver or giving vitamin D or high vitamin C sort of knocks it out as quick as we can to get them back on track so we can start working on the NTHFR and the thyroid. So I understand that it could be a concern. Um, but a lot of times with patients with NTHFR, I give them the, the silver to get it knocked out as quick as possible. And it may be two or three days of complete liver drainage and getting their toxins fully um, uh, processed out. But – it's worth it to get the stuff killed off. Yep, I agree. Yep. I agree. Um, yep. So Marnie says the pronunciation is on the box. Oh, Oscillococcinum. Oscillococcinum. It's on the box. Yes, and she loves Umka as well. It's from Germany. Germany. Okay. Germany. What else you got over there? For, uh, for I love. 
of oh, Intramax. You know, do you have that at your office? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, I didn't know that because Dr. Cowb used to have that. We had that at the office, and I, mm -hmm. that is, talk to them about that. I had no idea you had that there. Intramax that is, is a uh, great multi. It is a great is multi. Is this the multivitamin? Yeah, it's a great multi, and um, they also have, like, uh, one for kids. They also have a very good uh, mineral yep. source. They do great. Now, when we talk about prevention, like, during this time, I say ACF for people. I tell patients with their kids, I say, um, give your kids, um, I say give them a tablespoon or two, one or two of ACF every day. And I said, if you don't have that, get Intramax. Intramax is made by, by Drucker's Lab. I yes. think they're in Houston, Texas. Yeah, they're great. And they are great. And they use really good products. They use clean products. They're a little pricey, but yes. I'm saying this. It tastes well, <laughs> mm -hmm. and the kids like it. And it's better than trying to push a ton of stuff down a kid, you know, trying to get them to take a lot of pills. But, like, literally give them a cap full of this once or twice a day during the cold season. Some people will be concerned. They'll say, well, I don't want to give my kid too many things. I'm like, you're not going to Oh, no, that's a great multi. It's you a great multi. You're not, you're not going to give them over mm -hmm. giving this. No, honestly. no, that is a fabulous. I had no idea you had that there. Yeah, it's that's really good. That's good. I'm glad you keep it in stock. I do keep it in stock, but I'd say this, like, uh, some patients, like, I get certain products of theirs. I just a order, special order for them, but we keep it there, too. So if you guys want it, just let we, us know. Yeah. It's a great product. I love drug. And, um, so uh, what else? What do you got written over there? Um, oh, he's some, all fancy. He's no, got all kinds no, of things. No, 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 no. We already we got the differences. We have a few more minutes. So I'd say this: the main things that we've talked about, like talked about, is we talked about vitamin D. Good amounts of vitamin D. You can do five, yes. ten thousand units a day of vitamin C. Maybe even up to twenty if you get sick. You can do a buffered vitamin C, like Danny said, allergy research group, or a vitamin C of your choice. You can do up to two thousand milligrams, maybe four to six times a day. You yeah, can do silver. This, you can use, there's tons of yeah, stuff there. You can use a silver if you want. You could use mm -hmm. drops or you can use a teaspoon or a tablespoon a few times a day like they recommend on the bottle. Mm -hmm. um, we can do camu or anything like that, or we could do um, some ACF, something of that sort. Yeah. So one of, some of the main things I would say this for us, I think, is vitamin D, vitamin C, and uh, silver are some of the main things we talk about. And start it now. Do start it now. It now While because you're on this is between right now, this weekend, and four weekends, it is crazy for most people, right? Even if they're not busy, you know, it's crazy. It's interesting because you've got two extremes. You have people who are really busy socially, mm -hmm. and they're out just busy, 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 or they don't have anyone, That's a good and they're point. equally, they're, they're so sad. And when you have no one, and you have no community, and you're alone, and there's nobody there, your immune system is also brought down. Exactly. And to me, it is, it's, it's more tragic, right? Because loneliness kills people. Mm, and there's a, we could do a whole series on loneliness and the, the um, effects, the, the health effects, the, the detrimental effects of loneliness on people. So both things. I mean, people who are really, really busy like we are right now this time of year and people who have no one. Exactly. And you I still have to take care of yourself. I love the fact you're taking a month off or two, almost that long. And I would say that it's true. Remember, stress will drain you of these vitamins and minerals. If you get, re get <laughs> you drained by stress, will. you'll get sick. And speaking of lonely, this is kind of going off the side. But I tell you what, the majority of us watching this tonight have got way more than we need, yeah. way more than yeah. we need, whether we scraped it and, you know, scraped ourselves up from the bottom and, 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 you know, done well in our life. So um, you want to feel better, give back, give to somebody who doesn't have my friend, Janice Gatlin took a man home from honey baked ham, whose wife had died nine years ago. He was in line getting a honey baked ham the day before, two days before Thanksgiving. And anyway, long story short, she invited him to Thanksgiving and he went to her house and I saw the oh, pictures. Lord. Reach out, open your eyes, look around, buy somebody's groceries, you know, do something. I mean, this is all a part of building up your system and helping you feel better, right? Exactly. And this is the seat. This is the season, yes, but why don't we do that all year long? And it, it's amazing. Like, why don't we keep our immune system running and our stress low all year long and make it a choice? You're right. Right. It's Louis, a choice. Louis Pasteur once said, and this it makes sense. He said, it's not the germ, it's the terrain. He said, you bet. who you are dictates if you get sick. Why is it that me and Danny or me and my brother and sister could all be in one family? We could have evidence in our body of symptoms, right? It was like similar symptoms. But we don't even have the same bacteria. It's why it's not it's not the germ. It's the terrain that, that dictates what your symptoms are.
And, and that even goes back to homeopathics. They call them miasms. It's genetic predispositions to have a sickness. It's like you're trained to respond to stress, to stress. You get stressed, and your parents could have had astrovirus, adenovirus, cytomegalo, Epstein-Barr, mm -hmm. and you can respond to stress as you would respond to it like your parents did to a virus. That's how bad stress is in your life. You can no, actually stress, stress can get to kill you. you. Yeah. I but these things every day. give you some nutrition, right? They give right. you nutrition. They feed your body to help fight the infection. And remember, you, that's all you need is support. Like you said, if we didn't have to, if we didn't, we live less stress, we probably wouldn't need most of these things. Oh, no. And if we ate better, right. oh. you can't supplement yourself to good health, people. But now you can you need these things if you do get sick. That's yeah. right. You know, and you need you need to to supplement. But I'm telling you, your diet is key. And the quicker we figure that out as a country, the better off we're going to be. Completely. And here true. we say this at Thanksgiving where I went hog wild on um, um, to pumpkin pie and apple pie and my pecan, that pecan pie was good. Now you have to admit, I made an amazing gluten-free pecan was pie. Delicious. That and was delicious. It. it was so good. It was I really mean, good. But your diet is the key. It is your diet decrease the stress in your life this time of year right i mean decrease it cut it out Choose. you don't have to go to every party you don't have to be the best room mother big stinking deal if you're not the room mother of the third grade Amen. party the, they're still going to be go to fourth grade whether or not that you're the room mother <laughs> i mean the quicker you learn to say no, I love the better it is. I mean, so who the heck cares if they don't have a party or whatever? I who cares? That, that's I the mean, truth. I love oh my it. gosh. I mean, we, we take this stuff so seriously and it is so not serious. It, it is right? not serious. It's not something to worry about, but we do like uh, people, you ever see it? They're, they're like, I've got to get into soccer. I got to do this and do this and do that. And I'm like, and eat dinner in the car. What the hell? Yeah. Eat dinner in the car. Oh, what happened to eating dinner around the table? Oh, and actually, we're too busy to meal prep. Chewing slowly, it, slower. If it takes you less so, okay. than fifteen minutes to eat your meal, you're creating inflammation. Completely in your body, right. right? I, that is a great point. Perfect. So, I mean, hands down. So, all of this is great, and we're gonna get sick. We're going to get sick. You know, you're gonna get sick. I get sick a lot. Few less than I used to get sick, but I'm also a lot less stressed than I used to be. I have more on me now than I ever have really in my life, just at a different level kind of stress, but I feel better I than mean, I've ever felt. Same here. Right. I feel really calm and I don't know, maybe that's some, something's happening to me and I'm a little bit deranged because no, I am no, no. calm, but no, I I, I may, something bad may happen to me, but I am not going to have a nervous breakdown over being so stressed oh, anymore. That's I eat well. I sleep pretty darn well. The, the menopause thing has caused a, a problem. I move well. I took yoga today and I sweated like a pig, that pecan pie out of me and whatever was going on. I poof like a goose <laughs> extremely well. I have decreased the stress <laughs> in my life and I've got an incredible community. Now I sat home Friday and Saturday night by myself by choice, mm -hmm. by choice, yep. right? I yep. chose to, and yep. even if I didn't choose to, I'm fine being at home. You know, I, I'm very rarely lonely. I may be alone, but I'm not lonely. Yeah. And I think there's a difference. There's totally well, a, there's a huge you difference. You choose to be alone because you know that your body says, I need the time alone to That's decrease right. stress and to heal. That's right. I always think of, you always think of time alone mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. sleep as, as healing. And I want to touch in as when you talked about food being the biggest, um, biggest thing, remember to get really nerdy about it. She is completely right about the effect that when you have, when you eat food, bad food, Remember, bacteria, like we're talking virus and bacteria, bacteria eat proteins, they eat carbs, and they eat fats. What you eat, they eat. So if you eat bad food, they thrive off of it. Mm. So nobody can tell me when they come in the office that, oh, I had a bacterial infection. What I eat doesn't really matter. It does. They feed off the same thing you do. Viruses only thrive because they feed off your cells. And what you feed your cell, if you get weak cells, they'll thrive even further in weak cells. So what you eat is the baseline. And so I say this when people try to tell me like, you know, Oh, that's not going to affect this or eating that much dairy or doing this much food. I'm like, you cannot do that while you're sick. No, 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 no. That. And I can tell you about the dairy thing. Cause I was without dairy for a solid month, one solid month. Mm -hmm. And then I've kind of gone off the rails since Thursday, my hands hurt. 
I don't feel good. Now I don't think the gut thing is a hundred percent because of the dairy, because two other of us had the same thing going on. But I'm telling you, your diet is key. It is 100% key. You, you, but I'm a big believer that people need the best multivitamin money can buy, mm -hmm. the best probiotic, mm -hmm. the best fish oil, and the best vitamin D. Mm -hmm. Those four things will help people, will help your immune system. Stay up and running. Those are four supplements, right? That are supplements, yep. not substitutes. That with a great diet and good exercise and sleep, I mean, you should have less illness and less fatigue than you've ever had in your exactly. life. When and you'll you get to get up and go. Even when you you're stressed, you get to go. And even though you're tired, I mean, not tired, even though you have a lot on you, you'll still be able to get to get up. But if go. you're sick, if you get sick, say between now and whenever you get sick, then how about go to bed? Stay home from work mm -hmm. if you can. Now I get it. I'm a single mom and I get it. I can't, I, I can tell you on, two fingers, the amount of days I've had, to, I've been able to stay home the last five or six years because number one, we've got patients. I can't cancel, can't help, right? Yeah, so, yeah, totally. but stay home, go to bed, rest, don't do anything. I mean, let your body heal, exactly. drink, hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. I think we so underestimate the power of water. And when you're dehydrated, what? That's, that's a good point. I'm preaching tonight. No. It's Sunday night service. I'm telling you, I love it that it's like you. She's like, I might, like, you got to get going. It's going to be all right. All but right. Water. Like, water. There's books on water about, check them out. Water books about how water heals. They'll heal ulcers. They heal, they heal the common cold. Like, in the sense, because you just hydrate. I mean, it is. Okay. Well, we're what? How much water are we? 85%, 75, 80% 75, 75, water. Yeah. I mean, for crying 100%. out loud. If you don't drink, you can't poop. Think about, think about the earth, right? And how it cracks and dries. That's the same thing that happens or those plants just shrivel up and die. When you don't drink water, that happens right in there. It gets, in that gut, right in the gut, all that poop, all of those toxins just dry up, stick to the colon. It's unbelievable what happens. You got to drink. You have, you to. have to rest, right? Um, Epsom salt baths. I'm a big believer in like detox baths when you're sick. Four cups, four cups, not just a little old, little old thing of Epsom salt. I'm uh, talking four cups of Epsom salt with maybe two tablespoons or more of uh, baking soda. Yes, Make a one. detox oh, bath. Get it. I did that last night. I soaked in there and watched The Good Doctor on my computer. <laughs> yeah, last I love it. That's an autistic surgeon. Is it, is it really good? Oh my gosh. Yes. And it breaks it. your heart every week and oh, he's just precious and I love it. So I laid in there and did that, but I didn't really have a virus. But anyway, I felt well, <laughs> and I felt good when I got out, but detox fast, you've got to sleep, stay home, slow down, let the kids eat cereal for dinner or something. I mean, you know, you have to, once you're sick, you've got to be able to give your body the time to heal. Yeah, you do. And I totally agree with the uh, essence salt baths, magnesium, put a little bit of night clay in there. And, oh, you yeah. know, and in the environment too, remember if you have these cold symptoms coming on, I recommend sometimes, not sometimes, a lot of times uh, essential oils, like put them in a diffuser. You can put things such as thieves oil. You can put orange in oh. there, peppermint. You can put, um, even, a, well, I don't know, oregano, oregano. Maybe, oregano, but remember, oregano has been shown in studies to be 500 times more effective than antibiotics. You bet. So, so I put oregano that, yeah. and thieves on the bottom of my feet oh, is yeah. what I do and yeah. put on big socks. Smells great in my bedroom when I Somebody's do that. Somebody's got a pizza in here. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, right. Linda. Oh, I can't Betty, read it. Uh, the okay. bottom. Could you have a healing crisis from the Epsom bath? No. Oh, wait. Well, I Linda. don't. Okay, someone with sarcoidosis, sarcoidosis supplement with vitamin D. Yeah, no, you, I don't know that answer. You know, it's something I prop. I've seen I have that. to look it up. I've seen that, and I've had colleagues tell me that they have supplemented with vitamin D when they have that condition, um, but I have not had that necessarily within practice too much. I need to read into that. I do too, and, Linda. Uh, be honest with Sorry, you. Linda. Check that, Linda. I failed you tonight. Well, it's like I, let's be honest. I'll check it out and see what we can find out. Could, Could you, you have, have a healing from? crisis from? Well. Yeah. I mean, I guess you could. You could have a healing crisis from anything, Jenny, but <clears throat> most likely not. Most likely not from the little amount that you're going to have in the bathtub yeah. with you. And I agree, Bonnie. Put the fork down. Put the fork down. I was Cue 
talk, enjoy it, right? It, it completely. You right? have to like, exactly, when you said eating too fast will uh, bypass and create a lot of inflammation in the gut. That you bet it will. Thing. Yes, um, it will. I think that with Healing Christ from Epsom Salt Bath, it's like sometimes in one fashion, as this is how I feel. Like, you know, when you sweat out a virus, you sweat out a sweat out a infection, you know, sometimes you have to take the good with the bad. And, and really, if you're going to have that bath, you could have a little bit of Herx, but um, sure. it's some of the, not say the chance you take, but it's better to get it out. And let it I don't in. think there's one thing for everyone, but I do believe that everyone has to eat well, sleep well, move well, poop well, mm -hmm. decrease stress and have community, That's right. period. That's for everybody. Everything else is individual, right? But I do know that vitamin C, vitamin D, colloidal silver, um, your camu, what else? Monolaurin, wow. zinc, echinacea, elderberry, your HCF. I'm telling you, that HCF stuff covers a ton. It does. I of, almost like saying just take a few, even when I've had the sniffles, I'll oh, yeah. take four or five tablespoons a day, maybe six, and like until it starts to get those symptoms out of the way. And people say, well, can you take a, too much? I'm like, no, if you're that drained mm -hmm. from stress and being that, having sickness. You bet. Your body will absorb all of it and take it into effect because remember the infections are depleting you of it. So you might as well go ahead and start umping up on it. I, yeah. I'll tell you this uh, funny story though. While we're doing, um, I was going with my mom in San Francisco, and I sat beside this guy, and I don't hardly ever get colds at all or sickness. And I sat beside a guy, no offense to him, but he had mm -hmm. so much cologne on. Oh. He had so much cologne on, and it was one of those four-hour trips where mm -hmm. the guy beside you had so much cologne it was going up my nose. Oh, and no. I knew this is what I happened. We talk about mold or getting something you nose. And so my mom's over there holding her nose. And I was oh. like, good heavens, this is going to happen. And so I could feel <laughs> it burning my nose. So I turned on the vent to let it go. And I know this place has a lot of mold oh, in yeah. there. And two days later, no, the next day I felt an itch. And I was like, oh, here we go. And what did I do? I bumped up on vitamin C, bumped up, bumped up, bumped up. And I kept taking and taking it. And now it dried out, started to dry out within like four days. So People want to get responses so quick. I understand that. But remember, it may not happen in one day. It may take two or three. But it's a lot better than taking a lot too many antibiotics, honestly. So anyway, any more? Here? So the bottom line, in my opinion, is you got to slow down. This is the holiday season. Yeah. you got to slow down. I appreciate every one of you slowing down tonight. I don't know what you're doing yeah, while totally. you're watching this, but there's a ton of you on here tonight. Um, I don't know, maybe you're eating dinner, maybe you're, I don't know what's going on, but you're slowing down enough to watch this for an hour tonight. You got to slow down. You got to basically, what Mac Davis say? say? Oh, you don't know Mac Davis. No, right? he's an old country stop. singer, right? He's an old, well, yes, but he's cute as a button. Um, you got to stop and smell the roses, right? Yep. Man, we're so busy. Uh, it's just, Oh, it drives me crazy. We're so busy. We're too right? fast. It's like, it's right? always, you got to slow down. You've got to go to sleep. You've got to make your bedroom a sanctuary. My friend Janetta Hitt talks all about, you know, the you've sanctuary. got to get all of this out. You can't get away from the computer. That's where the magic happens. Woo! Yeah, because <laughs> the bed is for sleep and sex only. That's where the magic happens. Gun it. Only sleep for me. Anyway, um, uh, what, what was I saying? Now you got me thinking. I'm about so the sorry. No, no, the bedroom has a, got a to be a sanctuary, like a right? Get escape. all the stuff out of there that's sucking the energy out of you, like the um, the TV, the cell phone, the computer, all of that, whatever's in there that's sucking the energy out. I've got that English bulldog that snores all night long. But you got to slow down. You got to sleep. You have got to take time to heal. If you get sick, you need to take time to heal. Exactly. Okay. Do that. And then pump up on the vitamin C, the vitamin D, the echinacea, the ACF, the monolaurin, the colloidal silver, silver, whatever, silver, whatever it is that you need, the osicillin, whatever, osicoxacillin, whatever it's called. Crap, I don't know. Morning getter. Cut it. Oscillococcyl. I'm from Gilbertsville, Kentucky. Good Lord. I'm barely, I, I'm from where Obani's from up there. She's from Calvert City. I'm from Gilbertsville, though. So um, oh. anyway, our umka. But take care of yourself, okay? And eat well, sleep well, and exercise, please. You've had no prevention. excuse not to. It's all about prevention. Remember, the cold is the cure. It's the only, How it's, amazing is that? That's the best. That's the best, best. But paragraph I've ever read in any book. I think in my entire life. It is the signal to tell you. Why didn't you Vanderbilt that teach on. me that? I'd like to know. All right. Why they didn't always they teach think, me that the cold is the cure? Always think it's a bad cure? thing. 
in it. It's secure. It's not a bad Your body's telling secure. you that something's it's coming up around you. the bend. So why don't you Go listen? We don't listen because we're too busy. We're too busy. All right, guys. So we're busy. Also, talking about being busy, we're hiring at the office. We are hiring and we are expanding. So it's exciting. And uh -oh. I shared the ad Big on the Danny right Williamson page. So if anybody's looking for a job, but I mean, and I don't mean anybody, can you I, better be. Can I, can I, can I apply? Yeah, you can apply. You better know about supplements. That's what I need. Somebody who can sell supplements. I, I need somebody who's good with patients. I need somebody who understands what I do and can tolerate me. <laughs> <laughs> but we're hiring. So if you know anybody, please share. That That's a big deal. But the bottom line is slow down. Remember, the cold is the cure. You get sick, it's trying to fix something going haywire in your body, right? Your exactly. immune system is telling you something. So listen, exactly. listen, be still totally and is. listen, right? It is so crazy when you say be still because when their body's giving you a problem, telling you there's a problem, it's because you're, you can't recognize, your body's telling you there's something going on, right? Right, right. It's trying to take its time to figure out what it is so it can go take care of it. But we're so fast and so busy that we've taken all that other energy and it diverts other things in your body. says, hey, I need this time to find out what it is. Let me That's fix right. it. Well, my nurse, just, Stephanie got sick on Tuesday. We sent her home. Sent her home. It was Tuesday for crying out loud. I said, go home. She didn't come back the rest of the week. I hope she's watching tonight. I hope she's there tomorrow because it's going to be yeah. crazy tomorrow. But send her home. Sleep. Go home. Go sleep. Your job will be there. It, now, it may be worse when you get back, but just go home. <laughs> Rest. <laughs> heal. Let your body take care of what it needs to take care of and yep. then come back. You're yes. no good. You can't pour from an empty vessel. That's right. Bottom line. That's right. Okay. I'm telling you, if we keep running and running and we keep burning like on an empty that's why what ha when we try to push supplements, it's not the matter of like trying to get you to take a ton of supplements and trying to get you to take all these things and buy things from us. It's that we know how hard you guys push mm -hmm. and how stressed you are. We see that. We know you are. We live the same lives. We, we understand do. that. But in the same sense, it's like we know we may have to supplement a little bit more to handle the stress. But we're trying to tell you like you don't have to supplement as much if you just chilled out just a bit. I know. And most just people chill do out. not chill out. And, just chill out. And right? one, I just saw this. Shall I tell the truth? Having a brandy sour, <laughs> a brandy sour from Jenny. <laughs> Jenny, I, I, I may have to agree with that actually. Oh, I love it. I love it. As long as a brandy sour, that sounds pretty good. As long as there's not too much sugar in it, I think it maybe work. You know, hot toddies work too well. Oh yeah, Jenny, Jenny. There you go. She, uh, well, send your resume. I've got the link on there. So send your resume. Oh, man. Absolutely. So, all right, guys, we love you. We ran over a little bit. Maybe next Sunday, should we talk about, I don't know. I haven't even told you this. Maybe we should talk about Hashimoto's. You know, we just did that yes. talk, and people seem to really like it. They loved it. and, and I So have... why don't we talk about Hashimoto's? If you all want us to talk about Hashimoto's tomorrow or Sunday night, or thyroid, thyroid and Hashimoto's, why don't we, if you want to do that, let us know if you we want can us do, to do that. We can talk about anything. No, let's do Hashi. Like when I say Hashi, you say Moto. <laughs> <laughs> My friends Ben and Sarah told me to say oh, like that, they said that, and I laughed. It's like when I say Hashi, you say Moto. Moto. All right, let's do it. That was yeah. Let's do it next week. Hashi Motos tomorrow night. That or Sunday night, not tomorrow night. Sunday night. Oh, I love it. Oh, it's great. Hashi Motos. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, All right, guys. Slow down. All right, this is going to be a busy Come week. On. It's the week after Thanksgiving, rolling right into December the 1st. Can you believe that? Slow down, take care of yourself, start taking extra vitamin C, take your supplements, take your D3, mm -hmm. but eat well. All right, everything, yeah. Mark Hyman says, what's at the end of your fork is way more powerful than what's at the bottom of your pill bottle. What you eat feeds any bacteria and viruses too. So remember that in this season. So you have to eat well. You cannot eat. You can't pass up on the good greens and the good meats and all the good um, juices. And Drink at and least two foods. amazing green juices a week. Green you, yeah. juice, not carrot or beet. Green Greens. juice. All right, guys, we ran over. Have a great night. Have a good week. We love you guys. Thank you so Bye. much.